This is George Hernandez and I'm home solo. Today we're going to talk about two of my childhood heroes, Bill and Ted. The trailer for the third Bill and Ted movie, Bill and Ted Face the Music, just came out nearly 30 years after their last film, Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey. Since we don't know much about the new movie, I wanted to dig a little bit deeper into the classics. So today, it's Bill and Ted Movie Facts. Bill and Ted come from an improv comedy idea. In 1983, UCLA classmates Ed Solomon and Chris Matheson created a student improv group at college. The sketch was built around the idea of a couple of guys who knew nothing about history talking about history. In an alternate universe somewhere, Bill played Ted and Ted played Bill. Keanu Reeves was initially cast as Bill and Alex Winter as Ted, but after looking at some of the audition footage, Solomon and Matheson decided to switch the roles. Keanu claims he didn't even know the roles were switched until the movie started. The phone booth was originally supposed to be a 1969 Chevy van. But Back to the Future beat them to the car time machine punch, so they rethought it as a phone booth. Bill and Ted creator Chris Matheson's dad is legendary sci-fi writer Richard Matheson, whose writings have been turned into movies like I Am Legend, which was originally the film The Omega Man, What Dreams May Come, and Stir of Echoes. When Chris shared the Bill and Ted idea with his dad, it was a series of sketches about the two characters with only one sketch of the film about time travel. Matheson's dad told him to embrace the time travel element and make it the entire film. The studio wanted the sequel to be about Bill and Ted finding characters in literature for an English project. Solomon and Matheson, meanwhile, had the idea of Bill and Ted go to hell. Alex and Keanu loved the idea and pushed the studio to make that the sequel, and thus, Bill and Ted's bogus journey was born. They had to change the name from Bill and Ted Go to Hell, otherwise the FCC would have made them advertise the movie only after 9 p.m. Bill and Ted creators Solomon and Matheson made their way into the sequel. They appear as New Agers at Missy's seance. Also, the villain of the film, Chuck Denomalos, is Solomon spelled backward. The actor who played Denomalos, Joss Ackland, you probably might remember better from his famous Lethal Weapon 2 line, Diplomatic Immunity, Diplomatic immunity. was embarrassed by the role. He admits that many of the roles in his 50-plus year acting career were taken just for the money or to settle bets. There's more than just the movies, too. They actually made an animated series in 1990 for which Keanu, Alex, and George Carlin all contributed voice work. As a tie-in to the series, you could actually start your morning with a bowl of Bill and Ted's excellent cereal, which was, quote, a most awesome breakfast adventure. Well, I think I've got my antenna working. This is George Hernandez. I'm home solo. Thank you for watching Wild Stallions. Hey.